Power tools use many ball bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the blade from the saw. The bolt is a reverse thread. Next, I'll remove the base. I'll release the locking lever and remove the retaining ring. I'll remove the lever and unscrew the cap nut. Remove the washer and angle the quadrant out of the way. I'll also remove the inner washer. At the front of the saw, I'll remove the pivot bolt and nut. Now remove the upper blade guard. Now remove the motor brushes and the motor housing. Now I need to drain the oil from the gearbox. I'll remove the oil plug. and the front gearbox cover. We'll let this sit for a few minutes for the oil to drain. With the oil drained, now I can remove the armature. I'll remove the bolt that secures the armature to the bearings. And now I can remove the armature. With the armature removed, now I can remove the inner gearbox bearing. It's secured in place with three screws. I'll go ahead and remove them. The easiest way to remove the bearing from the housing is with an internal bearing puller. The puller fits inside the inner bearing race and then expands outward. The kit comes with a slide hammer, which I'll install onto the puller. And then the slide hammer will pull the bearing from the housing. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll place it into the housing and use a rubber mallet to tap it into place. Once it's seated in the housing, I'll secure it with the screws. Now I can reinstall the armature. I'll place it through the bearings 
and align it with the worm gear. You'll notice there's splines on the end of the armature shaft that need to align with the splines on the worm gear. Once it's in place, I'll reinstall the washer and the lock nut. Now I'll reattach the motor housing to the motor and gearbox. And I'll secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the upper guard. First, I'll place the lower guard spring in the recess in the motor housing. And now I'll reinstall the guard. I'll reinstall the motor brushes. Now I'll reinstall the base. First, I'll align the front brackets and reinstall the hinge pin. And now I'll reattach the rear quadrant. I'll replace the first washer, then pivot the quadrant into place. The second washer, the cap nut. Now I'll take the lever and lock the cap nut into place. And check the alignment of the lever to the saw. Want it just a little lower, like that. Once I have the lever where I want it in the locked position, I'll replace the retaining ring. Now I'll reinstall the front gearbox cap. Now I need to install fresh oil into the gearbox. I have the base adjusted for the maximum depth of cut, and then I have the saw sitting flat on the base. I'll add new oil until the oil comes up to the bottom of the threads in the filler. The oil is very thick, so I'll add it slowly so it doesn't spill out. Also, you'll need to check the oil level a couple of times after replacing the oil. As it works its way through the gearbox, the oil level will drop and you'll need to add a little more. With new oil in the gearbox, I can reinstall the filler plug. and I'll reinstall the plain washer. I align it with the shaft and slide it into place. Now I can replace the blade. And remember, the threads on the bolt are reverse thread.
And now you know how to replace the ball bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.